It's a new owner with a new vision, ready to give the once crown jewel of Indianapolis a massive transformation. You couldn't get through this area when it first opened. I mean, it was wall to wall people because it was so exciting. But Mayor Joe Hogsett agrees that's not the case anymore. It's why he's excited about a new project to redevelop the property. Two of the most important blocks in the very center of the downtown area will be repurposed and transformed in ways that I think will be exciting for all Indianapolis residents. Hendricks Properties will take over ownership. It's the same developer behind the Bottle Works District and Ironworks on the north side. Their plan to turn the main corridor into an open air walkway with plazas and a bridge over Maryland Street to connect the two sides. And retail and restaurants and entertainment, but then also bring in some housing uh, in, in multiple different aspects and then also in more and more office uh, as we can continually drive that forward as well. Really a true mixed use component all the way around the board. This new developer will spend $600 million over the next decade with the first phase of redevelopment completed in 2028. In Circle Center Mall, Lauren Costick, 13 News. And tonight at 6, we're hearing from former Indianapolis Mayor Stephen Goldsmith. He was in office when Circle Center Mall opened. Goldsmith told us the redevelopment is exciting and long awaited. He released this statement to us saying the purpose of the mall was to be a catalyst to bring people downtown and spur other nearby developments. Circle Center served as that downtown spark for many years, but with the changing retail landscape nationally, the mall as currently configured has outlived its usefulness. The former mayor went on to tell us he's hopeful about this new vision and development. We've got his entire statement for you. It's posted on WTHR.com. Sean? 